All right. How, how surreal was it, uh, you know, seeing uh, America's Most Wanted get played in uh, straight out of Compton, you know, like on the big screen? How would you like that? So I can count um, a check from BMI for royalties. <laughs> no, it was it was it was surreal. It was kind of cool. It's kind of, you know, we've had records in movies, but the thing was about that was the story and how they brought it to light from there. They, basically, I'm be straight. They about the only one that can do, the, do a movie because they had a little bit of everything in their lives. Sensation. Yeah, they're a little, they, we're a little safe guys, man. We, you know, we don't have no real drama. Well, I mean, but, you know, if you have to control the story, you know, you can still make uh, it. Yeah, but he was the only one that can tell the story that can get a biopic like that played. Q was the only one that can do that. Which was great. I thought it was. I, I told him, "Yo, this was, it needed to be done." Cause you know, not that I got nothing against it, but how many times can we keep seeing a slavery movie or comedy? This is true. This is true. Done by us. You know, we had the James Brown movie done by Mick Jagger, which was from his perspective. We need more movies like that done by the artists from their perspective that knows what really went down. That's where I'm at with that, and that's why I, I loved it, man. You know. And you know, like I mean, there was that famous scene where he smashed offices. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Were you were you egging him on? Did you need your royalties? Yeah. Oh yeah, man. It's like y'all was like, yo, yeah, break it up, throw him out the window. No, no, no. <laughs> no but it's kind of funny while we were doing the album and all that was going on. We didn't know because we was just doing so many projects then, and it was we just stayed in the studio. We still in the studio. We still got projects. Yeah. You got a new album? You know. Uh, Chuck got an album. PE got an album. Um, was it Man Plan, God's well, Laugh? Yeah, it it's out. It's doing it. Yo, you know the old school cats always doing music, man. Just that you know you don't hit on the mainstream. Musicians don't retire though. No, it's what we do. It's kind of hard to stay in this business like forty, almost forty years, man. You know, and keep doing the same thing and still cats still want to holler at you. It's kind of hard to do that. That's like you know. I know cats business business ain't nobody want know. Like they they're not even getting nothing. They're putting out. Yo, Daddy Open Stetson Sonic just dropped an album. Come on, man. Classic. 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 Stess the Sonic's about on the road. You know, there's a first hip hop band. And, you know, cats don't even know about that. You know? So it's like, you know, it's where Wyclef and them got it from. So it's, like, it's kind of hot.